the smoke and the beast are among the signs of the Day of Judgment, mentioned in the Quran and rigorously authentic narrations. The smoke. Allah Most High states, so be on the watch for a day when the heaven shall bring a manifest smoke covering the people. This is a painful chastisement. 44, 10 to 11, the Prophet, Allah bless him and grant him peace, said, the hour will not rise until you have seen 10 signs, the rising of the sun from the west, the smoke, the beast. Muslim, there is a difference of opinion regarding whether the smoke mentioned in the verse of the Quran refers to the smoke that was foretold as one of the signs of the hour. Abdullah ibn Masud thought that it did not, while Ibn Abbas, Ali, Ibn Umar, and others affirmed that it referred to the same smoke mentioned in the prophetic narratives. Nawawi, Shar Sahih Muslim Kurtubi, Jamie al Akem al Quran. Imam Kurtubi mentions that the smoke will cover the earth for 40 days, affecting both believers and disbelievers. The former will be affected as if suffering from a common cold, whereas the latter will suffer harder. Jamie al Akem al Quran. The emergence of the beast. Allah Most High states, We shall bring forth for them out of the earth a beast that shall speak unto them. 2782 The Prophet, Allah bless him and grant him peace, said, the First of the signs, the hour to appear will be the rising of the sun from the west, and the appearance of the best, for the people in the forenoon. Muslim Their scholars differed greatly regarding the details related to the beast, which, though not important to know, can be mentioned briefly as follows. A. Appearance Some scholars, such as Imam Kurtubi, held that the beast is the she-camel of the Prophet Sali, Allah bless him. Others stated that it was an animal that is a hybrid of many different animals. Another opinion states that it is an actual human being, which is a very weak opinion. Kurtubi, Tadkira. B. Place of emergence. Some stated that the beast will emerge from Makkah, basing it on the narration of Hadhefa. Allah be well pleased with him. Others stated that it will emerge from a desert, then disappear, then emerge from a village, then disappear and finally from the Masjid al-Haram in Makkah. There is another opinion that states it will emerge from Taif, Kurtubi, Tad Kira Alusi, Ru al Mani. See its speech, the beast will address the people with the words of Allah, mankind did not believe in our signs. 27, 82, others stated quoting Ibn Abbas, that speaking refers to the action of the beast in differentiating the believers and disbelievers. D, its role, the beast will be tasked to differentiate the believers from the disbelievers. Abu Huraira, Allah be well pleased with him, narrates that the Prophet, Allah bless him and grant him peace, said the beast of the earth will emerge and have with it the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon. Abu Davud, Ibn Majah, Musnad Aman, it will use these to mark off the believers from the disbelievers. Kurtubi, Jamie Allah Kem Al Quran. An important point to note is that many of the opinions regarding the beast may not have a sound basis in the texts. As such, believing in these subtle details is not necessary, except that which has come in the authentic narratives of the Prophet, Allah bless him. This includes, first and foremost, believing in the coming of the beast itself, a point established decisively in the Quran, as well as it is a sign of last hour, speaking to people in its task of differentiating the believers from the disbelievers. Details regarding its appearance, where it will arise from, what it will say, and so forth, are matters of secondary importance. The safest route is to consign these modalities and details to Allah while realizing that ultimately we will all return to Him to be judged for what we did in our worldly life.